Hi guys! Welcome to Cheryl's Home Cooking. So let's get started. Welcome to Cheryl's Home Cooking and today I'm going to show you how to make American Chop Suey. This is the way that I make it. So let's get started. In my frying pan I have one pound of ground beef, two celery stalks that I diced, one purple onion that I diced, and two garlic cloves that I minced. So I'll saute this all together. This American chop suey is really good. And you want to saute this until the vegetables are nice and soft and your ground beef is fully cooked. I'll drain any excess liquid. You can see some right here. So now I'll just let that simmer. Now I have some fresh basil from my garden. I'll dice that up and add that into my hamburger. a tablespoon so now I'll add that in. I also have some fresh oregano. I'll dice that up as well. I'll remove the leaves from the stem. Dice that up as well. That's also about a tablespoon. So now I'll add this in. Now that I added the basil and oregano in, I'll mix it around. I already drained the liquid. So I'll put my burner on medium low. To this I'm going to add in one jar of my homemade spaghetti sauce, which is one quart. So I'll be adding in this one quart of spaghetti sauce. There's my spaghetti sauce. So into the pan it goes. I'll just stir it around. You can use jar sauce. It's whatever sauce you like. I just like using my homemade. So now to thicken my sauce, I'll add in about a fourth of a cup of Parmesan cheese. That's what I'm using. So I'll kind of eyeball it. Just stir it in. I'll take a spoon and give it a try. Mmm, good. It needs just a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. I'll mix it around. And 
my sauce is done for my American chop suey. And the pasta of my choice that I'll be using are the small shells, but you can use the pasta of your choice. So I'll cook my noodles according to the directions on the box, and it's a one pound package. So now my sauce is complete, I'll put my burner on simmer. So I'll be using these small shells for my American chop suey. So I'll cook the small shells according to the directions on the box, and it's a one pound package. So I'll get the water going. So I have my water on my burner, I have it on high, I'll wait for it to come to a boil, I'll add in some salt, and then I'll add in my package of the small shells. Now if you wanted to spice up your sauce a little bit to make it a little bit more spicier, I'm going to add in a little bit of the crushed red peppers. I'll just shake it in. That should do it. I'll mix it in. This is optional. You don't have to put the uh, crushed red peppers in. My water was boiling, I added in some salt, and then I placed my small shells in. So now I'll wait for them to cook. My shells are ready, so now I'll go drain them. My sauce is still simmering. Really smells good. So now I'll go drain my small shells. Now I added my sauce to my shells. Doesn't that look good? Really smells good. So now I'll put some in a bowl. Now doesn't that look good? And this is my version of American chop suey made with small shells. Now there's the perfect bite. I'll give it a try. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Really, really good. I love my homemade sauce deserves a second bite. Mmm. Well, thanks so much for tuning in to another episode of Cheryl's Home Cooking and watch me make my American chop suey made with shells. Enjoy. I'll see you guys next video. Bye-bye. Thanks so much for tuning in to another episode of Cheryl's Home Cooking. Please hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next video. Bye-bye.